Local church leaders are joining arms together demanding answers in the death of Andrew Brown Jr. Alex Littlehales picks up our teen coverage in Elizabeth City. And Alex, what did those pastors have to say today? Well, David, church leaders declared what they are calling a quote moral emergency here at Mount Lebanon AME Zion Church in Elizabeth City alongside NAACP leaders as well as some attorneys with the family. Now, this was a sign of unity, a call for peace, but also a call for action. A city in crisis, but this is the first time we've had obviously this type of crisis to happen to this community. Say his name! Andrew Brown! Say his name! Andrew Brown! A city in search of answers. It, it's just the way they're treating us, it's just not right. You know, I actually thought things were getting better, but it's not getting better. And in Elizabeth City, church leaders declaring a moral emergency on Tuesday from the fallout of Andrew Brown Jr.'s death. A warrant does not give someone the permission with a badge and a gun to be a bigot and to be trigger happy. Different area churches stood together, united on the steps of Mount Lebanon AME Zion Church to deliver a message of peace. We must be with our black neighbors yes, in yes. the march. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. We must be in the protest, right. but especially we must be with them in the work of dismantling racism. But also a message of action. Local pastors now call for the state attorney general to take over the investigation of Andrew Brown Jr.'s death. Family attorney Harry Daniel says that new video captures moments previously unseen by the family. A pickup truck full of deputy sheriffs right on the back of it. As soon as it rounds the corner and blocks uh, Andrew in, they get out, get off the truck shooting. Reverend Javon Leach, the lead pastor at AME Zion, says communities are now relying on churches and their leaders to help them heal. Where do we go from here? If we never get all of the snippets and facts that we need, what's the next course? And 13 News Now has learned that tomorrow early afternoon here at Mount Lebanon AME Zion Church, people in different congregations will gather for a prayer and actually visit the site of where Andrew Brown Jr. died. In Elizabeth City, I'm Alex Little Hales, 13 News Now. Curfew under the state of emergency goes into effect starting at 8 o'clock tonight and lasts until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning.